Hello friends and welcome to our Earth Day celebration. So Earth Day is always celebrated on April 22nd each year and this year we decided to do our kits so we could see how this goes. So if you were able to stop by the library and get one of these kits you should have a cool little dog tag necklace. You should also have this very cool flower pot that you can open up and color this insert. I think there's two different ones and then put it back together for a flower pot. And got our nice poster. All right, so these posters are pretty cool. You can put your name at the top and it says, keep our earth happy. And it says, I can reduce the amount of electricity by, remember to always turn off the lights when you're leaving a room, can save water by when you're brushing your teeth, always remember to turn the water off when you're not using it. And then I can recycle these things like plastic, aluminum, that kind of thing. And it has a definition of pollution. Pollution is the contamination of air, water, land, and the environment. So it says at the bottom, draw one item that you can reuse instead of throwing it away. This poster is very informative and I'd like for you to fill out all of that there. Let's learn a little bit more about Earth Day. All right, so let's learn a little bit more about Earth Day. So U.S. Senator Nelson founded Earth Day after witnessing a massive oil spill that leaked millions of gallons of oil off the coast of Santa Barbara in 1969. So the first Earth Day was celebrated on April 22nd, 1970. Senator Nelson chose this day because he felt like it fell between most students' spring break and final exams, and he wanted to encourage young people specifically to participate. Earth Day was also influential in passing environmental legislation like the Clean Air Act, Clean Water Act, Endangered Species Act, and the National Environmental Education Act, and more. Over 95% of primary and secondary schools in the U.S. and millions of schools globally observe Earth Day each year. On the very first Earth Day, more than 2,000 colleges and universities, 10,000 public schools, and 20 million citizens participated, which was about 10% of the U.S. population at the time. It is estimated that over a billion people participate in Earth Day every year, making it the largest secular observance in the world. How cool is that? All right, guys, I hope you've learned a lot about Earth Day. I've had so much fun doing these activities and I hope you have too. I'll see you next time next month for more of our fun programming. Have a great day. Bye.